Next up, I was just perusing the internet and I came across this. It was a pretty good article from Seek Business Capital and it just talks about the 20 fastest growing industries over 2020 and beyond. I'm always just interested to see you know, where the world is actually going. So I was reading this and it just lays it all out, you know, one through 20. This is all the different things that are uh, hope to uh, advance over the next, you know, three, five, 10 years or something like that. Healthcare, again, at the top, uh, information services, family services, uh, medical diagnostic, but that's not the big story. The big story here is that when I was thinking about this, I went into what I had covered uh, a couple of weeks ago, which was unstoppable domains. And unstoppable domains, if you don't know, there's really two things that it can do that I see that are, is fantastic. First of all, you can simplify your sending and receiving of like your crypto address. So you don't have to send somebody like this three PFS, blah, blah, blah thing, which no one understands or knows. Uh, but it can just be this, danlikes.crypto. That's one of the domains I actually bought. And they can send you any kind of crypto. It can Bitcoin, Ethereum, Theta, whatever. And it's just super simple to use, right? And then that's the first part what's great about unstoppable domains. The second one was, and I thought this was even bigger, you can buy dot crypto domains and you can hold and sell them for later. Like uh, one of theirs, like sex.crypto sold for $90,000 uh, just last month, August 28th. So uh, that's pretty big. Now, is this gonna be like a get rich quick scheme? Absolutely not. This could be, you could be holding this forever. Like Michael Saylor over there at MicroStrategy who bought all those Bitcoin, he held on to, his different uh, domains that he had bought. I could have sworn one of them was voice. It was on the Anthony Pompliano and he sold it for like, oh my God, like $30 million or something like that. So, but he held on to it for like 15 something years. So just so you're aware, uh, this could be a long play. However, it could be a big play and uh, it doesn't cost too much. So I was thinking of merging uh, the two things together and I'm actually bought a couple of things already, but I would just tell you that these are the ones that I would definitely look into uh, because I think they could be huge. And Number one on the list right here, home health care services. Here's a little trivia. Ah, uh, I was in the army. I was a medic and I became a nurse. And then I actually got into home health. I worked in there for 10 years. And I was actually a director of medical services for a nationwide chain for home health care. And I can just tell you that there is a ton of money in home health care. That's all, all I will say about that. But And it's very competitive. There's home health care companies all across the nation. There's a bunch of them in probably your city that you live in. So I thought to myself, well, if I want to be uh, competitive in that market, I probably want to have a fantastic uh, domain or website. And I thought, you know what would be great? Top Home Healthcare dot crypto and it's only 40 bucks i tried home healthcare dot crypto but that's a uh, premium and they don't sell that right now but if they did i will probably be buying it for sure also i thought how great it would be just be have loans dot crypto but that wasn't available but i said well how about loans 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 because there's one called lambda 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 oh sorry <laughs> camel 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 lambda 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 is revenge of the nerds Camel, camel, camel is from or is for uh, if you're an Amazon uh, FBA seller, it's a really good way to do research. So uh, they they just took camel, 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 and everybody everybody uses it. So I thought, well, how about loans, loans, loans. Crypto. I mean, pretty simple. And then for the algorithm, if they're doing searches, I mean, this would come up like right away. So perfect if you want to sell that. Lowest loans. Crypto. That was a pretty good one. Phoenix Bank. Crypto. Sure. Or where I live in El Paso Banking. Crypto. I mean, imagine a bank coming up to you going, Hey, we want to be only one that uh, is a bank here and, and has a dot crypto. Well, I have that domain. I'll sell it to you for X or whatever else it is. So sure, I would do that. Also, here was a good one. Smartest contract. I think smart contract would be good, but that's not that's not there. But smartest contract, sure. And then I want to go into the medical park. That's pretty much my background. And as you can see, home health care services, outpatient care centers, individual and family services, other information, officers of health practitioners, medical and diagnostic laboratories. These are all the top, well, top six that are really going to grow in the upcoming year. So wouldn't it make sense to get a domain that is more towards that as we get into more towards cryptocurrency digital assets? Why not? So there's a service called MDVIP. MDVIP is a private practice where you pay a certain amount per month, but you have access to your family doctor. And it's a pretty big um, business. It's uh, spreading throughout the nation. So I thought, well, MDVIP at crypto and it's available, but it's 800 bucks. I don't know if I can get that right now, but also I thought, well, orthopedics, people are getting older. Knee replacements. How about the orthodoc.crypto? I would definitely buy that one. Actually, if uh, this isn't available when you look for it, it's because I bought it. And here's where I'm going to merge medical, what's going to happen in the future uh, as far as like uh, medical services, and what's going to happen in the future as far as cryptocurrency digital assets. If you don't know, another little trivia for you, uh, I got a really bad left leg. It's probably all the sports and different stupid stuff I did as a kid, but uh, I, I had a really bad knee. 
And it was so bad that I couldn't really you know, bend down to pick up anything. So I actually got stem cell injections when I lived in Vegas. And guess what? Works out great. Now they're about 80% back. And I can only say good things about stem cell therapy so far. I think it's one of the futures. So if you got that future, well, wouldn't a doctor probably need this type of domain, stem cell doc crypto, or maybe, but there's another, another type of uh, niche, which is called PRP. And PRP is piggybacked on stem cell therapy. You can look it up. It's called platelet rich plasma. And platelet rich plasma is also what they did on my other knee uh, which is what they actually take out blood they spin it off they get the platelets and what's called platelet rich plasma and it has certain small amounts of uh, stem cells and growth factors and they inject it into the damaged areas it, it, it doesn't you don't need to know that all you got to know is that platelet rich plasma crypto is probably a good one again if you don't find this when you search for it because i bought it so anyhow there's a wide plethora of different options out there and i think this from here of what's going to grow and what's going to happen and maybe get into that space i can only see good things now i can't say there's going to be like uh, huge winners this is i think a very long play but I mean, look, look, it worked out pretty well for Michael Saylor, uh, Michael Strategy CEO, and uh, maybe it is. I've got a couple that I'm saving, and I think they're going to be winners. But uh, I got time, so let me just think in the comment section. But that is it for today. So thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end. I thought this was a pretty, uh, pretty good one. Um, if you don't know, I got a second channel. It's called Digital Asset News Clips, and I made this for two reasons. First of all, is because sometimes the videos go way too long. I talk way too much. So what I did it as I thought to myself, well, if people really have you know m uh, time on their hands, they can watch these videos. But if not, let's just break them up into clips so they can watch the very easy parts and they can go about their day. So time is money, so I want to make it easy for everybody. So I put uh, Digital Asset News Clips. Second reason was is because I don't want YouTube to come to me and go, hey Dan, great job on your channel and we're going to shut you down. So this is kind of like the backup channel just to make sure. So everything that I talk about in Digital Asset News, I will put here in clips. Plus, I will be doing uh, exclusive videos just for Dan Clips just to get the, uh, the channel going. So if you could head over there, watch a couple, subscribe, that'd be great. Don't have to, but I really appreciate it. All right. So that's it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like those videos, there's two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. So check those out at your leisure. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one.